Super Bowl is right around the corner, so let's design a fan poster for 49ers. And I'm going to use Adobe Photoshop to create a stunning artwork. And also I'm going to give away two brushes and a color that. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are tons, yes, there are tons to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. First thing, let's create an artboard and for that, press control and N. And I'm going for 4x5, let's just into threaded color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8, and let's keep everything as default and let's click and create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. Maybe let's keep it somewhere right around here. Let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. Oops. Let's make it a more bigger. Here we go. Uh, let's create a layer max and let's go to brush and using a general soft brush. Uh, let's edit some hard edges right over here. Just, just to like so. Here we go. And then let's go for another image. So uh, let's see. Let's go for this one and let's drag and drop this right over here. And press Ctrl and Cheap. Let's make it a little bigger and then let's keep it right in that is line just like so now let's create a layer max again and let's go to brush and let's it is these hard edges like that all right and then uh let's create a new uh hue and saturation let's click on that clip to layer and so that this hue and saturation gonna affect this specific layer only and let's drop down the saturation a little bit just like so and uh, let's keep it like that for now and then we're gonna tweak it later anyway and uh, let's go for another image so this one drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the bottom press ctrl and t let's make it a little smaller just like so and maybe let's keep it somewhere around here and let's not worry about anything let's keep it like that for now and then we're gonna do some adjustment later and uh, let's go right over here and uh, let's drag and drop this image right over here and let's keep it all the way to the top press ctrl in tint let's make it a little bigger let's add a little rotation and let's keep it right over here just like that and let's create a layer max let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go let's click on that layer max go to brush and let's go for a hard brush and with the black color selected let's erase these parts here we go and Let's make an ace line right over here. Just like so. Here we go. And let's make a one more copy. Control J. Let's delete that layer max from here. Here we go. And let's go back right over here. Press Control and click to make a selection. And press Control Shift and I to make an inverse selection. And let's go back to layer 4. And again, let's create a layer max. So we have two different parts. So one is underwater and another is above water. Now let's uh, increase the opacity to 100% and let's do the same thing for this one. Let's increase the opacity to 100%. And for this one, let's change the blending mode to soft light. Now let's go on very top and let's add a curve. And let's click on that clip to layer so that this uh, curve gonna affect this specific layer only. Now let's make it a little darker just like so now let's click on that layer max go to press and with the black color selected let's erase some of these parts here we go well before that let's go for a general soft press 
So just like so, just to add some A's highlights. And maybe let's make it more darker, I guess. Here we go. Just, just like that. Now let's create a new layer and let's fill it with kind of warmer color. Uh, maybe something like this color. And let's click on that. Right click, create clipping max, create a layer max, and let's fill that layer max with black color. And let's go back to brush again and with the white color selected, let's add some haze glow right around here. Click on that player image, go to filter. Let's go to camera, raw filter. And what I like to do is let's drop down the highlights. Let's increase the shadows. Here we go. And let's go back to oh, FX. And let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture. Let's go to color mixture. And let's drop down. Let's increase the saturation for red. And let's drop down the luminance a little down. And go back to saturation tab again. And let's drop down for orange, yellow. Here, let's drop down the green and even aqua too. Here we go. And let's go back to color tab again. And let's drop down the vibrance a little bit just like that. And let's keep it like that. And let's click on OK. This is what we got. And let's do the same thing for this one. Let's go to filter. Let's apply the camera raw filter. And let's go for apply previous setting. Now let's click on OK. All right. And then let's go on very top again. Let's go back and let's create a new layer. Go to brush. And I'm going to use a water splash brush. So let's go all the way to the bottom. And let's see. I will just go with this one. Now let's go, let's drag and drop uh, another image. So let's drag and drop this texture right over here. And let's change the blending mode to soft light again and press Ctrl and T. Let's make it a little bigger. Here we go. And again, let's create a layer max, go to brush. And again, let's go for a general soft brush. Here we go. And let's eat it with the black color selected. Let's eat it some of these bars. So just like that. So this is before and this is after. Now let's create a new layer and let's add some environment. So I'll just go with this brush and let's add some. Some environment right around here. Just like that. And again, let's create a new layer. Let's make the bottom portion a little darker. So let's go over here, create a new layer. And with the same environment press, let's make it a little darker. Here we go. And let's add some environment right around here. Just like that. Now let's go on very top and let's add a color dot. So let's go over here, click on lookup and from here click on load and I'm going to use my flame dot. So select this one and click on load. So this is what we got.
add some text right over here control t let's move it right around here and let's control t let's keep it right around here let's make it a little bigger and and let's go on the very bottom let's go over here add a hue and saturation let's click on colorize and let's make this blue and let's see how it looks yep i think i think this this looks better so i'll just keep it like that and that let's merge everything Control shift Control shift alt and e let's go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and let's go on the effect tab and let's increase the clarity and let's increase the texture let's dehaze a little bit just like so and let's add a little bit of crane just just like that and let's go on optics and let's add a vignetting a little bit here we go and let's go back here let's drop down the highlights let's increase the sands a little bit and let's click on okay and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye, -bye.